All right, Shalom, Akim out there. This is your brother Samak, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, Baha Rakakwadash, and double honors to our elders and apostles, which are at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to all you sincere Akim out there, pushing this word in truth and sincerity, diligently feeding the sheep. All right, now I'm coming with a quick lesson in the spirit, you know. You know, because I, I see and I hear this, all this talk of, you know, how I shoot BK, man, it's, 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 <laughs> it's teaching that John the Baptist wasn't in the truth. And, you know, they, they selling tickets to, to Passover, throwing flyers out and all that, man. And, you, know, you know, man, and, you know, that's the, that's the spirit that the Most High is sending out, man, that reprobate spirit, man. You know, these people will not endorse sound doctrine. And that's why my name the uh, entitled this video, they, or I should say, in some shall, uh, shall not in, um, endorse sound doctrine. You know, because it, 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 it's a lot of these 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 guys, man, they want to get too deep, man. The apostle, uh, specifically, I'm talking about Apostle Gabar, man, he always talking about how these Israelites, man, they, they always want to be too deep, man. They don't just never want to be simple, man, just... Stick to the scriptures. Stick to what you were taught, man. If it ain't a hundred percent undeniable, um, proven in the scriptures, man, let it go, man. These, all these Israelites want to be so deep, man, and, and in reality, they're really just falling short, man. You know, they're, they're they're falling short because now when you start, you know, dibbling dabbling into these different doctrines and philosophies, man, you you just cur cursing and marking your spirit, man. This is 2 Timothy uh, 2, uh, 4, and I'm going to start at 2 and read to verse 3. It says, uh, preach the word, be instant in season and out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. It's about the doctrine, you know, because it ain't just about feeding the sheep, man. It's about feeding the sheep with uh, nourishing foods, man. It says, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. And that's what a lot of these guys are doing. A lot of these these camp heads and these other uh, these other camps, man. You know, they're they're trying to just make a name for themselves. You know, you know, a lot of guys, man. A lot of guys in in all the camps, man. You know, you'll have these guys who. Who want to make it make a name for themselves, man? So they start coming up with new doctrines, new philosophies, new teachings, you know, to be the first one to do this, the first one to do that. You know what I mean? And it, and it's just causing them to err in the scriptures, man, because they're not just sticking to the scriptures. They're not sticking to to the to the, to the milk, man. They're trying to go deep, deep, deep and get that real tough, strong meat, man. You know. That super well done steak, man. Nah, no, just stick to the the nice tender steak, the fresh milk, man. Stick to the, to the scriptures, man. Keep it simple. The scriptures speak about making the uh, the vision and the truth plain upon tables, man. You can't try to keep going extra deep into things and trying to discover new things, man. Because you're creating new doctrine, man. You're you're not having sound doctrine. And when you do these things, you start getting deep into things that you shouldn't begin into. And then what causes you to bug out, man? You know, it causes you to depart from the faith, man. And that's not a good look, man. Nobody wants to depart from the faith, man. But, you know, it's it's all ordained from the Heavenly Father because, you know, that's just the spirit that he has sending around. You know, a lot of these guys are set up to cause other brothers to go off or to test other brothers to see if they're going to fall into these other doctrines or if they're going to hold fast to the truth, man. This is Second Peter two and one, and um, I'll read to two. But there was, uh, but there were false prophets among, also among the people. Even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damn, damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, and bring upon themselves a swift destruction. Man, they're gonna bring all type of doctrine. Man, they're gonna bring all type of things, and they're gonna deny the Lord. Man, they're gonna deny what the Lord has brought. Man, you know, 
They, they, they're going to deny the teachings that Yahweh Shai have brought forth. Yahweh Shai will bring something forth or Yahweh will write, write something in the scriptures and they'll deny it and make their own thing, man. They'll make their own thing up, make their own doctrine, make their own breakdowns, man. Their own private interpretation. When we know that this no scripture is up any private interpretation, man. It's either you got the right breakdown or you don't, you know? It's either right or it's wrong. That's all it is, man. And we of Great Millstone believe that the elders and apostles of Great Millstone have the true doctrine, man. Or or what some like to call the a hundred percent truth, you know. Not saying that brothers are uh perfect or a hundred percent right in every little thing. Some things are were you know are a little reaching. Some things are this, but you know for the most part in the the, the philosophy, the teachings, the prophecies, man. You know the names, everything to that nature is a hundred percent truth, man. Everything that matters, man. You guys going in deep into things that don't matter, man. You know talking about John the Baptist wasn't in the truth. What what do you what, what profit does that bring? How does that benefit the sheep, man? How does that benefit the elect? You know, what are you what what are you really doing to help the elect, man? Nothing. You know, you're doing nothing but causing confusion, uh, and 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 just a demonic spirits, man. You're causing demonic spirits contention and confusion, man. That's all you're bringing forth when you go into these different doctrines, man. It says, um, and many shall follow their uh, pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Let's say that word pernicious. Hey, I'm going to just Google it. Pernicious uh, means uh, having a harmful effect, especially in a gradual or subtle way. Mm. You know, the pernicious influences of the mass media, meaning you're doing things that are subtly harming the, 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 the people, man. You're harming the, the hopeful elect, man. You're harming your congregation by bringing forth these these ideologies and philosophies that you decide to go deep into, they don't profit, man. Nor is it correct. But the Most High prophesied of this, man. You know, the Most High spoke on these things because he knew this was going to happen, man. I'm going to be in the book of Timothy a lot. Um, this is the book of Timothy, first, 2 Timothy 3 and 1. Uh, this know also... That in the last days, uh, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of them own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. You know, you could just read on down a list. But my main thing uh, to, to, to grab from the scripture was, you know, lovers of them own selves, man. Boasters and proud, man. Blasphemers, man. You know, these guys, man, they, they, they're all about an image, man. These guys that come up with these new doctrines to make a name for themselves, they're boasters. They're, 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 they're lovers of them own selves, man. And they're proud, man. They're proud. They just wanna they just wanna be in the limelight, man. They're not they're not coming in a in a humble spirit, man. A sincere spirit, man. These guys that are doing these things, man. You're supposed to be uh and be in meekness and, and, and humility, man. You should you should you should do something. Uh, something great and not take credit for it, man. You should be willing to do something great and not take no credit for it, man. You know, do an anonymous, uh, uh, like kind of like a, a vigilante, you know. He'll do a great deed to the public and won't even show his face, man. You know, that's how you That's how you should be in this truth, man. You know, this most high, the scriptures say that, uh, you know, don't let your right hand know what the left hand do it, man, you know. And that's just making an example out of it. Like, listen, if you're going to just do things in sincerity and truth, not just to be, to make a name for yourself, man, to be high-minded, man. That's what these guys do, man. They're, these guys, man, are, are crazy, man. Crazy. And I'm going to get this last scripture, man. I was going to make this video too long. Just wanted to bring this out, man. Basically, man, my the moral of this this video, man, just... Just keep it simple, man. Stick to the scriptures, man. Stick to the milk and stick to the to the meat that you can consume, man. Don't try to go deep into things that you can't even handle, that you just start making yourself look like a fool, man. 
Just stick to the to the milk. Stick to the the, the 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 meat that you can handle. Stick to the with the things that have been taught. Don't go looking for things that you can. Oh, I'm gonna be the first one to bring this out. These guys, man, are crazy, man. But um, that's why, man. The guys and uh, that's why I say Great Millstone, man. It definitely has the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot, man. Because from my elders on down to the brothers of the camp, man. You know. Majority of us, man, we we got the spirit uh, just to be humble and to you know, just just seek the truth, man. And, you know, just do the work, man. Just keep it simple and do the work. Um, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna have to search something. Uh, strong delusion. This is Second Thessalonians two, and uh, verse ten. It says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because a lot of these guys have unrighteousness in them. You know, you might not see what these guys do on their day to day walk. But, hey, despair shows, man. It says, uh, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. They didn't receive the love of the truth, man. They might have got glimpses of the truth and they took it and turned it around, man. They did a whole 180 with the truth, man. It says, uh, and for this cause, uh, the Most High, Yahweh, shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Because that's what it is, man. And anybody that believes this, this crap, man, has this spirit of this strong delusion upon them. It says uh, that they might all be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. And that's simple, man. That's simple, man. Hey, listen, just, just, just do the work, man. Go out and teach, do your video, study, be brotherly, man, and, and just stick to what you know, man. Don't try to go deep looking for something that's never been taught before. You want to be the first one to find this out, to make a name for yourself or whatever the, whatever the intention behind it is, man. These guys are crazy going into these weird breakdowns, man, and, and, and just doing weird things, man, charging for the truth. You charging people to... For breakdowns, you charging people just to uh, uh, come into your congregation like crazy, man. Yo, Lord willing, this video was edifying to you listeners, to you Akim and Akwafium out there. Till next time, I say Shalom.